गुड मॉर्निंग नो टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर फॉर डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप यू आर रिक्वायरिंग यू आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप किट एंड द कनेक्टिंग वायर्स ओके नो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट आई जस्ट गिव यू द ओवरव्यू ऑफ अ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप तो दिस इज बेसिकली अ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड दिस इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ योर डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड दिस इज द लॉजिक डायग्राम ऑफ अ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप okay now as you have studied in sr flip flop this this will be your sr flip flop in sr flip flop there are two inputs this will be your s and r okay now just you can say that uh, d flip flop is just a modification of a sr flip flop now instead of using two input i just use a one input a one logic input okay and the second this this r the second input will be connecting by using a inverter by using a not gate okay now this this will the truth table for a d flip flop when the clock will be zero okay whatever the value of uh, d that will be the whatever the logic input the either it will be zero or one the next value this q n plus 1 that is basically the next value okay and q n this this represent your previous value that is the stored value now whatever the value of zero and one either it will be zero or one okay or you can say it is don't care okay so uh, the uh, next value that will be always the stored value and if if the data will be your zero and uh, the clock will be in active mode that will be your this will be one at that time the next value will be zero and when it will be a, when the uh, data that will be one at that time uh, your next value that will be a one okay now let us verify uh, this truth table on this uh, kit okay now first just make the connections uh, this this will be your this will be your t flip flop this will be your inputs okay then then i just connect this this will be the not gate or you can inverter with your r okay then this this will be the input this this will be connecting to the logic inputs okay i just connect it after that uh, this will be your q this is q and this this will be your q bar this will be your q bar okay and one more this this will be the clock this is a clock this this will be the clock i just connect it here this will be the clock okay now connect this q and q bar to the output indicators now this this will be your q this will be the q and this will be the q bar this will be q bar okay once you have to make the connections then just connect this kit to the main power supply i just connect the kit to the main power supply after that just on this switch i just on it now first first i just verify this truth table okay i just click this truth table okay. this this will be your truth table okay now when the clock will be zero okay just make i just make clock will be zero at that time your data either it will be zero or one your q and that is always a stored value i just change the value this will be zero your output at that time that will be a zero okay so i just change it change the value i just change the value okay i just change the value let let it be a one let it be a one i make it one at that time the output again will be a zero okay this means whatever the stored value that can be displayed now next i just make this will be zero i just make this will be zero okay and i just apply a clock i just apply a clock okay at that time just see the table this will be at that time 
then this will be your clock will be one t will be zero output will be next value will be zero so next value again will be zero okay now next time i just make it one i just make the data one okay and apply a clock i just apply a clock at that time the output at the next value will be one so this this will be your one so this this will be your that is when this will be clock this will be d will be your one at that time the next value will be your one so as this two table will be verified okay thank you